What's up, you guys? Today marks a very special and exciting episode. And I know I say this a lot, but today is the very first episode of a whole month dedicated solely to macros. Now, macros are one of the things that make this Grand MA2 console special uh, because they allow you to modify pretty much any aspect of your show file and quite frankly of this console when working with it. So this is a huge deep rabbit hole that we kind of want to slice off uh, the tip of the iceberg this month. And what I'm actually doing this month is continuing a series that I started last year, which actually walks you through um, nine different aspects of macro programming that you can also read up on in the manual or you just come to this channel and see it all in a beautiful video. So let's get started and let's first actually find out what the deal with macros is and also these commands in MA2. What is that? So you have to know that everything that we're doing inside of this console pretty much just assembles a sequence of commands and then sends that uh, to be executed by MA2. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's say I uh, select a group and then I go add, add. Now, what happened in the background is that it just called group one and then it set the dimmer value to 100. And you just saw that happening over here, by the way. So uh, let's just say I hit Control M to um, activate my move key and then I press on one tile of this group pool and I move it to another and I click on the second one. Now what happened there was pretty much the following. Move, group, and then in this case five, at one. And then this got executed. And you can see I just use the hard keys, but it had the same effect as me tapping on this. So where do these commands go? You just saw a command going in here and then as soon as I pressed please, or rather before, as soon as I tapped on where I wanted to, the group to go, it disappeared. Uh, you might have actually found this out yourself already, but in the command screen, all you have to do is press this yellow ball. And here you can see what we did previously. So this is a complete, overview a complete log of everything that you did um, in the last, I don't know, hours, I guess. I'm not sure what the limitation on this is. Also doesn't matter. So whatever you do in this console is actually just a command sequence or a sequence of commands. And that's where the beauty of macros comes in. Um, let me just pull up a manual page here, um, a page in the manual of GrandMA2. Uh, where did my MA3D go? All right. Are you ready? This is a list of all of the commands in Grand MA2. Yep, still going down. Still going down. We're a G, that's not too far to the alphabet. In case you didn't know the alphabet. And now we're at the end of it. So these are all of the commands that GrandMA2 supports. And just to show you that they're real commands, if I go in here, let's say block screen, you can see that you have an explanation of what this command does. And then you have different usage examples. And let me tell you, every one of these commands that you see in this list has a complete page like the one that you just saw dedicated to it. And that's crazy. And that's also slightly overwhelming, but that's what the beauty of this console is. A slight sense of overwhelming, of being overwhelmed. Um, yeah, it kind of never, never stops being fun. All right, so how do we make use of these keywords? Pretty easy. First of all, let's actually create or uh, put in a command line view. That gives us the same overview that we had in here. Um, with this one, you can actually make it as, as small or big as you like though. So that's really cool because like that, it's actually constantly visible. And then let's pull up the macro pool. Pools and then macros. And let's create our first macro. So here you can actually label it my first, whoops. 
And now if I click on new, um, this is pretty much just like a sequence. So I could go like at, I don't know, something. I'm not even gonna enter something. So you can just add multiple lines here and you could go at, whoops, at 10, at 50, at 100. And uh, you might notice that I'm just entering random um, things here. And you can see over here, we can actually change this to go trigger. So like that is really like a sequence in a way. Um, but instead of cues, we actually have commands, all right? So let's uh, actually assign this to an executor. This is the same as, whoops, excuse me, what's going on here? So we can actually off this, just like an executor. And we can also assign this, just like an executor. So now if we, um, let's say, no, clear. All right, these are the ones that I want to have. Perfect. So now I'm just going to execute the first line and we can see at 10, if I press go the second time, it says at 50, pressing it again at 100, pressing it again at 10. And I could just go crazy on this one, um, but that's macros for you. Uh, it's just a collection of multiple commands uh, helping you do stuff in Granite 2. One small caveat about this, as with everything else that I showed you, um, all the tools that go beyond the bare necessities of just creating a queue or an effect or a preset, whenever you have tools that bring in more complexity, be aware of that. Be aware that they will not help you with creating a show directly. They will help you with creating a show indirectly. So if, if you're still shaky on creating looks and sort of, um, you know, finding your style, and seriously, I'm also still in the middle of that, then maybe lay off the macros for now. You should really only use macros when you have a certain problem that you cannot solve any other way, all right? But, you know, you're adults, so you'll figure it out. Let's create a second macro. And in this case, let's go to load predefined, this one over here. And this contains almost as many macros as there are commands, if you ask me. So you can just look through this and just go crazy. This is already a really good place to go. By the way, help keyword. Hmm, what does that do? Let's close it up. Let's click on the help keyword. Oh, the whole documentation. And let's see. I think we can actually find a list of all the keywords. How meta, huh? <laughs> so just right click on a second tile, go through here. Let's see what else do we want to have. So this might also be really useful. Uh, you can actually hit the align button directly. So now let's go highlight align. And now if we go and tilt this, actually turn off again. How dare you? All right, now it works. Perfect. So like that, if you don't feel like always going through these align options up here, you can probably just um, set these buttons to make this a little more accessible. Whatever align methods you actually prefer. Let's check out another one. So this is a simple one, at and then a space plus and another space five. So we saw last week how we can actually uh, use the minus and the plus shortcut um, to add plus 10 or go minus 10. In this case, you can also change that. And in this case, we have highlight on, so obviously you won't see anything. But again, this doesn't directly help you. It just goes to show that with macros, you can actually completely customize these commands that you also just saw in the documentation, link below, by the way. So I encourage you to just go through these. There's some really crazy ones over here. Um, so delete, <laughs> delete selection from all queues. Uh, you can actually go ahead and delete a selection of fixtures from 
every bit of content, effects, presets, sequences, and so on using this macro. Um, let's take a look at another one. I think there's like a chaser. Uh, yeah, there's a chase generator over here, for example. I mean, just take a look at what all of that does. If you don't understand it for now, don't worry about it. Just play around and get a feel for all the things that are possible. And one thing I was wondering about, black screen off. Nope, that's not the one. I wanted to have a different one. Ah, uh, black all screens. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I have no idea what the real life purpose of this is. But you get the point. So when you look at these, especially the bigger ones, uh, let's take a look at the chase generator. Um, so macros are really simply said, they are a sequence of commands. And since everything that happens inside of this console is based on commands, um, also exceptions prove the rule in this case. So if you go and assign, for example, um, let's actually assign, if you select something different here, um, you will only see in an assigned executor. So some things just aren't accessible to you via macros, but pretty much everything else is. And so macros are a really powerful tool to make your life easier. But remember, if they don't make your life easier, then maybe they're not worth it and they're not worth digging into it too much. So really make sure that, that you only use macros on specific problems. All right. Where's another place to get some really cool inspiration for macros? Well, there's a forum for that. Um, I'm not talking about the group, by the way. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that that comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is actually an official MA2 forums over here called the MA ShareNet, and they have a complete section dedicated macros. So if you just go through here, you can see a lot of different macros. Um, and you can just download them, incorporate them into your show and make good use of them. And especially that section contains a lot of really interesting macros. So go and check that out. Link is also in the video below. So now that you roughly know what macros are and now that I showed you a way of how you can start messing around with them, how do we approach this macro month? So today I'm just giving you this intro, but also uh, these two links. And also a third thing and that's uh, linked to the videos on macros that I already did last year. Now, the rest of the month, I'm just going to continue that series. And so by the end of this month, you should have um, a total of nine different steps of how you can get familiar with the different aspects of how you can build macros. And that should give you a really good introduction and a good baseline for working with macros. So as every week, there's a Facebook group that you can join, links in the video description. But more importantly, if you really wanna get down and deeper to this stuff, what you need to do is practice. So today you have a lot of resources on how to uh, educate yourself on that. So I encourage you to check it all out. Uh, again, don't get lost, but as long as it's fun, just go for it. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being patient with me, sometimes not uh, making my schedules. And I'm really looking forward to, to talking to you next week. My name is Jonas. See you soon in the forums or next week. Bye-bye.